Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about the French Revolution. This is um, chapter 39 and the French Revolution is going to inspire many other revolutions in Europe. So basically in France, King Louis XVI was ignoring the basic needs of the people. The taxes that people were paying were so incredibly high. The people were basically broke, starving, very upset. Well, their king lived in the palace of Versailles with his wife, Marie Antoinette, and ignored their problems. So, King Louis the 16th, ignoring the people's needs and problems. Now, France was ruled by an absolute monarch, King Louis the 16th. Society was divided up into three classes, and the three classes were part of something called the estate system. The first estate was about 1% of the population, and the first estate was basically made up of the, ch the church, the clergy, and they paid no taxes, which is crazy. The second estate were the nobles, the landowners, and it was also about 1% of the population. And they paid 2% in taxes, which is basically nothing. Now, where is everybody else? Everybody else in France was put into the third estate, which was 98% of the French population into the third estate. Now, the third estate basically had to pay half of what they made in taxes and they got very little in return for all these taxes. The king would spend the money on huge parties, the Palace of Versailles, and very costly wars. The people in the third estate had basically no voice in government. Now, the third estate started to read these Enlightenment thinkers, and they started to question why is King Louis XVI able to make all these decisions and basically give us nothing for our tax money. The third estate comes together and they go to try and talk some sense into the king. The king doesn't listen. They create something called the National Assembly where people of the third estate say they're coming together and they're gonna get a new government going in this National Assembly and they refuse to stop until they have a new government where the people's voices can be heard. And that comes out of some of the ideas from the Enlightenment. So the first and second estate were basically made of the church and the nobles, and it was about 2%. They paid very little in taxes, and they lived very comfortably. The third estate was 98% of the population, and they paid half of what they made in taxes, and that is going to make them basically live a subsistence existence, barely have enough food to feed their families and starving. The third estate demanded change. And they've heard about people like John Locke, who was a philosopher who we talked about saying everybody has a right to life, liberty, and property. They heard that if a government from these enlightenment thinkers is not protecting the people, then it's the people's duty to overthrow that government. That is where the French Revolution will turn violent because the king ignores the people's demands for change. And the French Revolution is going to get extremely violent. And it's all inspired by these ideas of freedom and equality. And they are later going to spread from France to other places in the world. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed.